Hello everyone, Mosey Tom here with another sporadic adventure video. This time around, we are going to the 38th state in our union, Colorado. Home to over 5 million residents, Colorado boasts the tallest town in our nation, a place called Alma, which is at 10,578 feet above sea level. With a population density of just 55 people per square mile, Colorado offers a host of flora, fauna, and open spaces. With that notion in mind, ladies and gentlemen, come mosey along and join us on our Colorado journey. We started our journey at the Rocky Mountain Arsenal National Wildlife Refuge where we photographed lots of prairie dogs, deer, and bison. This 15,000 acre refuge features 20 miles of hiking trails, an 11 mile wildlife drive, and countless hours of fun. I highly recommend it. On our way to Colorado Springs, we were greeted with expansive views of the awe-inspiring Pikes Peak while cruising near an Air Force base. Pikes Peak The next morning, we began our ascent up Pikes Peak via the Cog Railway, which has been in operation since 1891. If you're fit and adventurous, you might even want to attempt the trip by foot. Yet, be forewarned. It is an eight hour hike one way. Additionally, at 14,000 feet above sea level, altitude sickness is very real. While Manitou Springs, the town at the base of Pikes Peak, welcomed us with 70 degree temperatures, Pikes Peak itself was slightly cooler, resting in the mid 30s with wind chill. Now, you'll know the scenery that inspired the classic song, America the Beautiful. While exploring the town of Manitou Springs, we observed firsthand the beauty, abundance, and aromatic qualities of the common lilac. As a bonus, we were graced by the presence of the beautiful Hameris thisbe, also known as the hummingbird clearwing moth. Next, we took our rented pony to Red Rock Canyon, a 1,400-acre open space in El Paso County just south of Route 24. At 6,800 feet above sea level, if the views don't take your breath away, the elevation most assuredly will.
The next morning found us on a scheduled 10 a.m. visit at the Colorado Wolf and Wildlife Center. During the general tour, we learned that, despite the wolf's fierce reputation, did you know that the last negative human-to-wolf encounter occurred during Ulysses S. Grant's presidency and before the invention of modern radio? Afterwards, we embarked on the long-ago purchased VIP tour, where we were honored with a dedicated 30 minutes of wolf interaction. Meet Micah. He is an affectionate 14-year-old Canis Lupus enjoying his last days with raw chicken, human interaction, and tons of belly rubs. He's got a propensity for cheese and loves to dole out puppy kisses and lots of them. After shaking paws with Micah, we parted ways and grabbed a bite at the delicious Iron Tree Restaurant and Funky Town Brewery in Florissant, Colorado. The beer was cold, the burger was juicy, and the service was affable. Best of all, it is from here that we learned of a secret recreation area known as Guppy Gorge. Paradise Cove. Officially known as Guffy Gorge, this is a local hotspot for peace-seeking explorers and thrill hunters alike. The end of the One Mile Trail concludes with 85 feet cliffs that overlook a tranquil blue-green waterfall-filled pool below. Peace seekers can revel in the sweeping canyon views while adrenaline-filled daredevils leap off the lower cliffs and plunge 35 feet into the welcoming liquid coolness below. All cliff jumpers emerged perfectly healthy and we gave each an enthusiastic cheer. Enjoy the clips. Before leaving the repose of Colorado Springs, we satisfied our adventure imperative with the hiking, climbing, and admiration of Garden of the Gods. This 1,300-acre sandstone wonder sits just outside the bustle of the 6,000-foot city and offers bountiful joy for all comers. After commandeering a couple of breakfast sandwiches and lattes from Starbucks, we perched on a sandstone bench and watched as adventure-filled rock climbers conquered a nearby wall. After astute observations, I commenced my own less than impressive endeavor. No Garden of the Gods visit can be marked complete without a kissing pose in front of the famed kissing camels and we were not about to make an exception.
Lastly, we concluded our out west adventure with a hiking imperative imposed by the green hills of Boulder. Chautauqua Park is an 80-acre paradise, just a 30-minute hike from the University of Colorado. Unfortunately, Rolling Thunder abruptly curtailed a splendid visit. We, nonetheless, enjoyed every second we could afford. I hope you guys enjoyed this video recap of our time in Canyon Ridge, Colorado. For more consistent and creative content, you should probably look elsewhere. But if you stick to this channel, you just might find another sporadic adventure video. Until next time, let's mosey along and thanks for watching.